Yo, what's up again, YouTube? Today we are going to be sewing a utility vest, also known as a cargo vest. Um, you can find the pattern on my Etsy, and we'll be using a pattern called the Babylon 5.3 cargo vest pattern. Uh, definitely check my description if you're interested in downloading the pattern, and without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. All right, so for this sewing project, what you're gonna need is one meter of the fabric that you're gonna be using, four meters of webbing, it has to be the thin one, 0.25 meters of, a quarter meter of webbing, the thick ones that you're gonna be using for the D-rings, uh, a 40 centimeter separating zip. You can either choose to have a zip or not. I didn't include one in this video, but you can uh, put one in for yourself two 20 centimeter short plastic zips and two d-rings that'll fit the, the the webbing so after printing out and using the pdf pattern you are going to cut out these pieces which is the front the back your 3d zip pocket your top pocket zip panel and two of uh, your pocket flaps the first thing you're going to do is fold the top of the small pocket down at 3 fourths of an inch and sew it down closed. After finding the perfect placement for your pockets, you are going to fold it in at a half an inch all around the sides and bottom and sew it on to the 3D pocket using double stitches that are a quarter of an inch apart. After marking a quarter inch by seven inch rectangle on the wrong side of the C1 pattern piece, place it on top of the 3D piece, 3D pocket piece with right sides facing. The rectangle is where you want the zip to be. So along the outline of the rectangle. Then you are going to use your scissors to cut along the middle of the rectangle. So all, all along the middle of the rectangle and cutting a Y at both ends. You want to cut as close as you can to the corner but not so close that you cut beyond your stitch. Next, you want to fold the C1 piece like so, then sew along this side of the seam, the stitch being as close to the seam as you can. Do the same on both sides, making sure not to sew down the little triangle piece at both ends. This is what you're going to get after adding that stitch. Um, next, you want to flip the C1 piece through the opening that you just cut. You might want to press the seams down with your fingers or an iron depending on whether your material is compatible with the iron but I used my finger to press it down here. Um, but the next thing you're going to do is place the zip to fit in the opening like this. The small little metal piece being at the bottom. When you get to the top end, pull the zipper head to the side where the opening is before you sew it closed. Cut off all the axis zip 
and after you're done with that this is what you're gonna see now you wanna fold the 3d pocket piece like this and sew along these two edges your stitch being as close to the edge as possible do this for all four corners after all that you want to turn your 3d pocket right sides out and now an ad from our sponsors and now pasting your pocket on draft the 8.5 by 8 inch rectangle where you want your pocket to be placed and use it as a guide to sew on your pocket start at one corner and sew all around and to make it easier for you you can pin it first aligning the edges of the pocket to the edges of the rectangle that you just drafted when you get to a corner keep the needle in the fabric lift the presser foot up pivot put the presser foot back down and then keep sewing After stitching your 3D pocket down, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you can use your thumb and index finger to kind of press these edges to make them look cleaner, to make them look more 3D. Sew a small piece of web enclosed to hold the D-ring like this. Place two pocket flap pieces with right sides facing each other and sew at a half an inch seam allowance around the edges leaving the top open place the webbing with d-ring between the two pieces using a notch to help you place it in the middle the d-ring should be facing inside next you're going to turn your pocket flat piece right side out and sew a top stitch along uh, the edge at a quarter of an inch seam allowance Mark where the pocket flap is going to be on both front pieces and place the flap piece down facing up. Align it to your mark and sew it down at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Fold the top of the top pocket down by 3 fourths of an inch and sew that down. Use the pocket flap as a guidance to help you place your pocket. Fold at a half inch all around and pin and sew the pocket on. And worry not, I actually have a guide on the printable PDF pattern that you can find on my Etsy um, uh, that guides you on how you place your pocket uh, flaps and the placement of the 3D pockets as well. So you don't have to worry about having to guess about the placement of those things.
After sewing your pocket down, fold the flap over like this and sew at a quarter of an inch away from the seam. After pasting pockets on both front pieces, place the back piece down with right side facing up. Then place front pieces on top of it with right sides facing. Sew along the shoulders and sides. To hide the raw edges, we'll be using webbing. Now, without cutting it first, you will fold it to hide the raw edge and sew on top, making sure that the stitch catches the webbing on the other side. If you've reached the end of the video thank you so much for watching i'm actually doing a giveaway to celebrate 300 subscribers on youtube thank you guys so much for subscribing and thank you for showing your support it really means a lot and it is pushing me to put more time and effort into actually making these videos um and so i'll be doing a giveaway for this pattern specifically and two people are going to be able to win the pattern the printable pdf pattern that's on my etsy shop and you enter by posting a comment in the comment section below of what you'd like to see me do next what's a pattern that you'd like to see uh next and that's all from me i'll see you next time